Shadowch, and I really like programming, especially Ska. Project Euler is a great way to get started on programming. They offer tons of problems, which focus on some interesting aspects of programming languages. Today we'll be solving problem one. You can see it here. If we list all the natural numbers below 10 that are multiples of 3 or 5, we get 3, 5, 6, and 9. The sum of these multiples is 23. Find the sum of all the multiples of 3 or 5 below 1,000. So first, we need to find a way to get all the numbers between 1 and 1,000. Until the time that we actually solve the problem, we're going to be using a 1 to 10 instead of 1 to 1,000. The way In Scala, there's a really easy way to get uh, numbers between two numbers. We want numbers below 10. So we do 1 until 10. Here you can see all the numbers, but we don't have 10. That's what we want. But now we have all the numbers between 1 and 10. But we want the numbers that are divisible by 3 or 5. There, there is a method in Scala called filter, which gives you the specific elements that satisfy a condition. Our condition is going to be that it's divisible by 3 or it's divisible by 5. But how do we find if it's divisible by 3 or 5? The way to see if a number is divisible by another number is using the modulo function. So let's, uh, uh, let's look at it. I can do 6 modulo 3, that's 0. But if I do 7 modulo oopsie, 3, we get 1. The modulo function gives us the remainder when a number is divided by another number. We can use this to our advantage. When a number is divisible by another number, the remainder is going to be 0. So now we can do 6 modulo 3 equals to 0. That's a condition, and it gives us true. But if we do, instead of 6 modulo 3, if we do 7 modulo 3, we're going to get false. Whenever the number is divisible by the other number, it's going to return true. And when it's not divisible, it's going to be false. So now we have our range 1 until 10. And on this, we're going to use the filter method. So the, remember that the filter method returns you what does satisfy the condition. And our condition is that it's divisible by 3 or 5. So first, we're going to specify what we're going to call the number when we look at it. So let's call the number n. And then, after the, after the equal and the arrow, we're going to put what, what, what our condition is. So our first condition is that n modulo 3 is equal to 0. But, we, but it can either be divisible by 3 or 5. To say that it's divisible by, uh, yeah, to say that it's one condition or the other, we put two vertical lines and put, put our another condition. And we can uh, do the same thing instead, except for 3, it's going to be 5. So n modulo 5 equals to 0. So now we have our filter. We get these numbers, which is correct. But the problem does not ask us what the numbers are. It, ask, it asks us for the sum. So, we, uh, But to find the sum, it's very easy. You just add dot sum. So that's our answer. Oh, wait. That's only for 1 until 10. So that's not really our answer. But... In computer programming, it's really easy to change numbers. So all we have to do to get the correct answer, make it 1,000. That's our answer. So today we learned how to create ranges, how to use the filter method, 
how to have two conditions uh, with one, uh, with the condition being one or the other how to see if a number is divisible by another number using the modulo function and how to find the sum of a list of numbers thank you